So, you know, how, how do you recommend that a company look at this and, you know, you've touched on, you know, why, why it can be beneficial, but I, I you know, I wonder how a, a company, again, that doesn't really put a focus on this, what would you recommend them doing to, to make a shift in this direction? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question because I remember when I started looking at doing that diversity recruitment, looking at um, veterans, right? There, there wasn't a lot of resources as we have now. So I say this because the Society of Human Resource Management, they have a Veterans at Work certificate program, right? A lot of HR professionals are aware of SHRM, which is Society of Human Resource Management, but they may not be aware that they have a certificate program that is free. And the whole idea was um, a few years ago, SHRM put together an initiative to basically improve the number of veterans that were working or were able to transition to civilian life. And this certificate basically talks about tools and knowledge they need to build out a robust um, talent recruitment program for their company size, right? As of Acara, we're around 300 employees. So our program may not be the same program than a company that has 3,000 or 30. It's what makes the most sense for your organization. And the good thing about the certificate allows them to really think about avenues, right? You don't have to go and recreate the wheel. You don't have to start from scratch. You have a proven method to start doing more of your organization. I think a lot of times when we think about recruitment, especially in today's market, because you think about it, the great resignation was two years ago. And, and, and us in talent acquisition, I mean, we had to really fight for every candidate. We had to go above and beyond. We needed to get, you know, we were, were paying more. We were, we were, we were over hiring because it was just a switch in how we traditionally recruit. And now the market has changed back to what the close to the traditional and the great resignation is not as prevalent anymore. But that does not mean that we just wait for veterans to apply to our jobs. We need to be going out, building partnerships. We need to not just expect them to apply online. We need to make ourselves as a company uh, an employer of choice for veterans. 